Anytime the pulp of a tooth has been injured or irritated, there's a possibility that it may become swollen and painful. This inflammation is called pulpitis, and it can happen for various reasons. Occasionally, placing a restoration close to the pulp can cause it to become inflamed. Other times, the pulp may become inflamed due to an injury. In both of these cases, the pulp may calm down on its own, but sometimes it can die or become infected. The pulp can also become infected when tooth decay allows bacteria into the pulp. Sometimes there is no apparent reason. You may realize you have pulpitis because the tooth is sensitive to hot, cold, or pressure, or there is throbbing, pain with biting, looseness, swelling, or a bad taste in your mouth. You may also be unaware of the problem because you have no symptoms at all. To select the best treatment, we'll perform a thorough examination, which may include taking x-rays or using a pulp tester to check the health of the pulp. We may also apply heat or cold, or tap lightly on the tooth to observe sensitivity, or press gently on the gums next to the tooth to check for pain. If the pulp is mildly inflamed, we may recommend treatments to ease any discomfort and help the tooth heal. If the pulp cannot heal itself or is infected, we'll recommend root canal therapy to save the tooth. Treating an inflamed or infected tooth will relieve discomfort and restore the health of your mouth.